Well, today, the most important conversations that I've been having are about meaning. Like, what does my life mean? Why does it mean that? Why is that important? Uh, what's important? Oh, God, you know. And as I was thinking about the answer to that question for me and the meaning of my life, uh, here are the things that I prioritize as being deeply meaningful. Um, my spiritual life is at the basis and foundation of everything deeper in my life. Without having a core part of my life being dedicated and devoted to uh, a, a, a practicing, let's call it faith, um, of serving, helping, and being present for people, my relationships are just not that deep. Um, my work is kind of sucky. Uh, so that's one of my priorities. That's that's one of the things that really creates the most deep meaning in my life. Second to that, that is close friends, family, uh, the, the people who I really care about in my life, those ones who show up for me, uh, people I've known, some of them for you know 30 plus years, other people um, like family members I've known all my life, and then newer people in my life that are showing up and that I am, um, you know, creating a ta newer attachments to. Um, you know, and then third is my work. And, you know, this here is a part of my work and it's not per se a money-making endeavor. And when I say part of my work, maybe I shouldn't even use the word work, I should use the word vocation because there's a way that I am and the way that my energy vibrates vis-a-vis, -vis, you know, these priorities that I have, you know, my spiritual life, self-care, foundation in principles, how I act at that, those principles out in my relationships. And that all feeds what I want to spend time doing as a vocation or to make money, right? Now, there are those of you who think a lot of that is bullshit. <laughs> You're like, no, I gotta go get a job because I need a job because I need to get paid so I can do stuff I wanna do and I just need to go get a job. Okay, sure. And then you also must recognize that the actual work world and jobs and productivity are a thing of, a part of our society that is rapidly changing, right? And if you're not asking questions about the deeper meaning and what you wanna spend time doing and what you like doing, um, your vacation could become extinct over the next couple of years, you know? And I look at the example of COVID and all the people in hospitality and retail and food service who almost overnight had no job and they'd been at that job their whole life and they hadn't done the work to look at what was important to them, what, what, how their life had deeper meaning, other things that they were naturally good at that they can do. And so they were lost. And that's really sad to me because, you know, if when you're lost around your vocation and you've been spending eight to 10 hours a day practicing that vocation, it's really lonely, it's really anxiety provoking, and it's really stressful. And so now we have a whole bunch of people that is, have been sitting around like anxious, stressed, and not making any money for a couple of years. And if it's not already creating a shit show, it's going to be. And as opposed to like, for me anyway, talking about how we're gonna deal with or handle or help the mental health issues that are a byproduct of that situation, I'd rather sit back and be like, how are you gonna learn how to help yourself so that that never happens to you again? Like, I do not wanna be, at the, the deeper meaning in my life means that I'm not gonna be at the mercy of some employer, company, authority, government, <laughs> in a way that's gonna mess with my life, personally speaking, ever again if I can help it. Now we all know that's like almost next to impossible to be complete, completely free and clear of any of those kinds of authorities, but I'm gonna do my best. I really am, I really am. Um, and I wanna have deeper meaning that doesn't have anything to do with those structures or those people or those entities or those quote unquote authorities that can potentially control how free I am and what kind of meaning my life has and whether or not I feel secure emotionally or financially. I can just decide I'm emotionally and financially secure. I'm gonna move through my life according to this deeper meaning and I'm gonna get out of the way and I'm gonna watch these great powers that be out there work miracles in my life. So that's the deeper meaning in my life. I hope you're asking yourself those questions so that you're prepared for whatever happens today, tomorrow, what have you. 
And I thank you for joining me today. I hope you all have a good day. I'm off. <laughs>